to another video. I'm gonna do a quick unboxing. Uh, apologize in advance for the um, background noise. Got kids, got guests. I have to do this because I need to start a God of War. Uh, got finally got the box in from UPS. Um, if you check my Twitter, I was complaining, like looking out the window, just waiting and waiting. Uh, first thing I've noticed uh, says on the box: "Do not display or sell before April 20th," which today is April 20th. Um, I could have went to. Uh, Games, game spot yesterday. I uh, decided I'm gonna go ahead and wait for my collector's edition and get in. Didn't want to double dip on two games. So, um, yeah. So, uh, went to another store. Uh, it's like a, a regular, you know, uh, in town uh, video game store. Um, they even said, like, hey, we, we can't sell the tape for So, hey, he, Give them, give them their respect. Um, they want to, you know, make everything awkward. Like, hey, uh, games, game spot selling it a day early, but uh, it is what it is. So finally, I got it. Uh, I've tried to avoid all, all like spoilers as much as I can. I haven't watched many videos. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. So. And so what this says is there, there's a trade in and trade up. So train your use devices for Best Buy. That's where I got this from. So I'm um, a pre order from Best Buy. 20% um, off Gamers Club. Definitely worth it. $25 a year. It's definitely worth it. 20% off. You can't beat that. So yeah. So you can. Uh, just check the value, trade in or trade up. Yep, that's it. And of course, got the receipt right here, which I'm gonna move that. Uh, first thing, got the plastic. And there you go, it's the outside, PS4. And I got the God of War Stone Mason Edition. Um, Stone Lace here edition. That's the outside. It's one side. There's another. And here's the back. And it says God of War Stone Lace edition. Uh, there's digital content. It has Delph Delphsval armor set. Exiles Guardian Shield God of War digital comic number zero. And got a war digital art book and a dynamic theme. I definitely like the dynamic theme. Um, uh, I seen somebody's um, uh, dynamic theme before. That's that's before I realized that they were, hey they about to start up God of War. So I was like yo let me click off click off this video right quick because I didn't want no spoilers. Um, no. Impressions or anything. I uh, think I've only listened to two people. That was uh, Kofi and BG. They're the only people that I've listened to their um, their impressions because they are. It was part of their like I guess I don't know, you want to call it a podcast, but one of those shows where they just talk about uh, events throughout the week. So. Alright, so we got the tape off. Take a little. I don't really care about the outer package. So just gonna rip it. Just whatever. I'm not keeping that. Okay, so the box inside the box. And 
up, got the God of, God of War right there. Uh, symbols, you can see that. And, and there you go. Kratos, Atreus. And we got that. I'm going to open that. Uh, first thing right here. Uh, I'm not sure what these are. Maybe it's people names. I'm not sure. Not sure. But first thing got in here. Uh, got the steel case. I'm guessing this is where the game is at. And yep, there you go. I hate when I get cases and the game is not like attached to this. But there you go, uh, it's digital content, um, I'm guessing that's what they're going to uh, put the code on the back of this. But let me see, let me check. Yep, so yeah, that's the digital content, the code for that is in the back, back of this. Alright, so got this part, and let's go ahead and open that. Before we get to what I really bought it for, let's just see what's in here. So, something else in here. This box. Alright, so there you go. See, you got a horse. And it looks like a baby. I'm not sure what that is, honestly. There you go. Got this. And you, there you go, the horse. Sit the sit these over here for now. Trash. Let's see what in the next box. All right, there you go. And just take them out. And as you can see. Stones, mason stones. All right, let's see what this is. Right, so that like, feels like some kind of cloth, maybe a. Hmm. First of all, I was gonna say it was a mount, which it maybe it is. Could possibly possibly be. Uh, you know you can see I don't have my lighting set up. This is a new office. I just moved back to the US so I don't have any lighting set up correctly. I'll be ordering new lighting. So sorry about the lighting right now. So yeah. Might be a mount. That's what it looks kinda looks like. We'll see once I start the game up. Now, this is what we really come here for. Uh, right. Okay. So, 
guess they may be to take it over. One side, one side. Side up here. There's something inside this part. So I realize how much stuff I'll be unboxing. It's like six unboxes and you know, one. Alright, so we got this. Let's see what's inside. And there's a ring. You know, let me see if you can see that. You can see it. Yeah, I'm not sure if I can even fit it. Definitely too big. Pause. Thumb. <laughs> That's about all we can put. Alright. Um, got two arrows here. Some st stickers, gotta wear stickers or sticker, you know. And you know, I've got a war, not sure. Okay. So we got some from uh, Corey Barlog. Um, this is a letter. Finding that first single image that can speak to the entire team about the core vision of a game that only exists in your head can be maddeningly difficult. It could take weeks or even months of writing, talking, arguing, and even pleading to create that perfect picture that would guide hundreds of people through the difficult years of development. Knowing this, I really did expect to struggle a whole lot more than I did to get the first concept piece. While I've too had I not I would have too had I not been fortunate enough to work with Jose Cabrera, an artist whose talent truly eclipses any word of my tiny brain could ever think of to describe it. All it took was a couple of paragraphs and a Skype call where I rumbled incoherently about the vision of the game, and two weeks later, as it's sent down from Valhalla on the wings of the Valkyrie, this incredible image just shows up in my inbox. It was perfect, I'm not kidding, the first thing he showed us was pretty damn close to the final image you see here. I mean, the first thing I said was, this is what we're going to make. That was quickly followed by, oh crap, how the hell are we going to make this? Corey Bar. I guess that was the first image. Yeah, even looks good there. See that? That's pretty cool. And I haven't watched this video yet. Uh, gonna watch it. Uh, but yeah, you gotta remember that these guys put a lot of like sweat and, and like a lot of like things they do, man. They, it takes a lot of time for the news. Some, some people take like eight, nine years to do this stuff, man. I mean, much respect. But this is what we came in for. The statue. That looks nice. I didn't even like realize when I even bought it that there's an arrow sticking in this guy's head. If you can see that. <laughs> like, I got it because I saw, uh, I saw Kratos. But I didn't even realize there was an arrow sticking like through his head and you see his, his tongue is sticking out got his foot on him yeah 
Still look looks a little angry, like he's done this before. Kratos. Man, this look it's got and it got a little bit of weight to it too. I like that. Really like it. I'm happy with this. Got the axe. Yeah, you can see this got it. Slit his throat. And there you go. I guess he got his hand slid off. Right there. Because his hand is not right there. And they're both on the ground. So, yeah, I really like this. Very, very much worth it for this. Just for the statue alone. That's the shield. Right. And the attention to detail. Got the see the beard. See it. In the back. The pouch. And then you got the arrows right here. The bow. Oh, oh, okay. So this, yeah, you can actually pull on that for the bow. That's that's pretty cool. But yeah, this is it, guys. Uh, I want to say thank you guys for watching. Uh, can't wait to do another uh, unboxing. My next unboxing. It's either I have two um, things I haven't unboxed yet. That's the Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, unboxing and sonic mania so i'm gonna see which one i'm gonna do next uh but hey thank you guys for watching and i'll talk to you guys later all right peace all right guys so there's one thing that i, I didn't realize that I, I forgot to unbox which is this plastic and here you know keychain and it says pool right here so I'm gonna pull this, see what exactly that's supposed to do. Uh, pull it. Maybe you can, oh, there you go. Okay. But it makes noise. Let's see. So I'm guessing this is the uh, one that they showed at E3 where he chopped the guy's head and used it. And I'm guessing that's how he sounds. So we're going to see. Alright. Thanks again. Alright. Peace.